sneak and run from him. Hey, I don't know how you got there, but you gotta go. Okay. Start making tracks. Damn bastard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We just stole your wagon. We just stole your <laughs> Run, horses, run! Well, howdy everyone, Bo here from BZL, playing Red Dead Redemption again, Red Dead Redemption 2, mind you. We have a bunch of horses around. I actually thought they were wild horses until I turned around to realize I was still in camp. <laughs> oh, never mind, I guess. Those are all, those are all saddled horses. Okay, well, cool. Here we go. We're gonna hop back on John Bon Pony here and uh, head off for another mission. What are we doing today? I don't even know. Let's check the map and find out. There is, oh, there's a bounty over here. Bounty hunting is the only thing in yellow at the moment, so I guess, guess that's where we'll go, because that must be the only thing we got going on at the moment. Alrighty, riding into Valentine. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful day outside, riding through the meadow. John still isn't tired. He's crazy, man. He's he's got he's got energy for days. In the last episode, we did learn that we could, uh, if we ever get these uh, big old uh, carriages or whatever they're called, ca 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 what? covered wagons, covered wagons, then we can uh, we can uh, sell them off to a guy. But uh, yeah, anyway, kind of interesting. here maybe this is our man you a bounty hunter mister maybe it depends but i'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day turn yourself in or discuss the finer points of county law then i don't need to know much more than that until it goes <laughs> off until. god right. dang we look so cool with our bear hat <laughs> you smell that this here's a livestock town mister Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. And poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Hansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. Hmm. Got ourselves our first bounty then, huh? We gotta go uh, find the guy and uh, who's been selling off some uh, miracle cures or something of the sort. And uh, we gotta lasso him and uh, turn him in alive. He's been hanging out by the gorge, evidently, so I guess we'll just follow this here... Uh, trail leads to investigate the gorge it says okay that's what we'll do Are you benedict albright oh sir huh kind of look like him and i was told he'd be up here no uh, not me sir it's because i want to buy some medicine and I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you can help me find him. It's just 
My mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's Game over, mister. mister. Put your Put hands your hand. up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you put... Doesn't have a handgun. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. Well, oh, now his pantyhose was there. <laughs> this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Whoa! Pull him, Arthur. Pull him. Ah! That's Arthur. He is a strong guy. Yeah. Now we're gonna lasso you up and put him on the back of John Bon Pony. It's just, just for questions. Oh, hey, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I, I'd be better off jumping. Uh, they expressly told me not to kill you. Oh, this is about you. Don't jump. Or oh, what? You can't shoot me. Huh? <laughs> Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. <sighs> Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, John. We gotta chase this guy down. I've already ridden this uh, cannon one time, but it was just for f pleasure, I guess. Yeah, he's getting down there. Oh, jeez. Grab on to some of them. Don't you dare jump off the rapids. Hold your breath. I, I cannot see him at all. I have no idea where he is. Oh, there he is. I see him now. Help! Help! Come on, jo Arthur. Arthur. I'm trying. Arthur, are you serious? Arthur, what is with your rope right now? Got him. Got him. Who made you guys? Wow, we struggle bus with that dang rope, dude. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. Yeah, you were in for the money too, but I didn't you killed people. I didn't, bro. I mean, I did, but... Well, mind if I just, uh, get a little bit of money off you? A gold-plated buckle, too, eh? All right, John, I hate to put some trash on your back. Here we go. He's all muddy, too. You're gonna get John all muddy. Gross. <sighs> to fall off the back of your horse and most likely drown. Okay, well that's good to know. No. Nope. Oh my God, are you serious, John? John, what the heck happened there, buddy? It's a fence. We've jumped over a million of them. Ah, so heavy. Ten years later. All right, back on the trail. <laughs> God. Well, if one of these doors would open, I would put him in. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Hey, any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. No, no, but I told you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Well, that was a quick 50 Please bucks. Remember what I told you. Good deal. Okay, boy. 
Well, I tell you what, with one bounty under uh, under our uh, arm, I don't know, <laughs> under our belt, I guess, let's go back to John Marston and find out what he wants. I did find out, I, you know, nothing really told me in the game, but I found out via the uh, Steam achievements that we actually got chapter one finished up. So we're after, we're actually in chapter two right now. I just I didn't know that because it never told me or anything. Makes you wonder how this happened, how they... Look on my works. Look on my works. MW. Look on my works. What does that mean? Ah. There's a note. Ooh. 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 Okay. Killer Clue, One Piece. Hmm. Me. Oh, so it's a serial killer, eh? That's kind of interesting. Oh, he really needs brushed. He severely needs brushed. So we can uh, uncover the mystery of this serial killer, eh? That's kind of interesting. Well, thank you. you. I'm like right in front of him, though. About a train, eh? uh, what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> you might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're, doing it. Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay, so we gotta go steal ourselves an oil wagon, eh? Oh, they're all over the place, too, so we get to take our pick, huh? All right, so we can take them. What's this about Micahs? We got a mission for Micah as well, but first we got to get one of these darn wagons. This one is in the oil fields right now. This one's in Valentine. Yikes. Maybe we can catch it as it's leaving one of these places, and we won't have to deal with so much hot fuzz. Come on, Arthur, shoot him. God, that was rough, man. We did not do very well that time. At least we didn't burn the whole camp around. Definitely need some more shotgun ammo. That certainly makes things go by quicker. Oh, we got a ring from that. 
Alrighty. Made a little bit of cash anyway. Come on, horse. Alright. Well, this is gonna be nice and easy. Now we just need to steal their wagon. Ooh, I think I see it too. Sneaking right in front of them. Okay. We just stole your wagon. We just stole your <laughs> Run, horses, run! <laughs> that was a grade A plan. <laughs> know that was gonna be an option I didn't think about that blowing us up well that's dumb can't believe they did that Shot. Gotta keep remembering that I do have that dead eye I can use. We just freaking stole their oil, bro. You're all probably watching wondering when I was actually gonna ever use that dead eye again. Boy, we got some speed now, brothers. Should have stuck to our first game plan. We just needed a horse or uh, we needed a rifle and we actually need to be able to shoot people. <laughs> I will say that first time we had a lot more than the two people we shot this time. All right, well, good deal. John, we need to run back to camp now. <sighs> All righty. So now we're supposed to meet him at the wagon, eh? What are the, let's see what the other ones are here. Abigail, a oh, fisher of men. <gasps> Fishing. Bro, we need to do that. All right, John, you keep watch while we're fishing, okay? <laughs> He's adorable. All right, come on, Uncle Arthur. Ah, this kid's making me tear up. All right, come on, bread bait, corn bait, and cheese bait. Okay. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Oh, bluegill. Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. So one pound, five ounce bluegill. It's not gonna get much bigger there, Arthur. Goodness gracious. Return to the fishing. He said he was gonna go pick flowers. We gotta go watch him, make sure that nothing happens. There's coyotes over here. We're watching them look like a hawk. Nice and steady. Spot for bluegill. I would say. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such so complex what? circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur, Arthur. Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. <laughs> Dutch, 
I haven't seen him for months. That so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train Damn. belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, A.J. Until... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagery. You know John back there all being a good boy. We're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are hmm. they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Would you just ride back to camp like the way you came if those guys just talked to you? I feel like I would have to go lie low for like a day or something like that. How you boys getting on? He's pooping. John, come on, man. Had the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton, and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train, and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing it's something so stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Hmm, man, oh my. Well, the Pinkertons are on us, are they? Let's go get on John and we'll go figure out what Micah has in mind. He was kind of, last we knew, was uh, thinking about doing some crazy stuff. I think we best just go back into town and buy more shotgun shells. I can claim a single free item from the gunsmith. Well, heck, we can get anything we like on his tab, huh? Okay. Can we get any new revolvers yet? Yes, not. Double action revolver will be nice. A Showfield revolver though, does a little bit more damage. I think we'll go ahead and get that Showfield re revolver. Sounds pretty cool to me. Yeah, that'll be nice. Check that out, a little upgrade, eh? Let's let's personalize it a little bit. I've been excited about this. I haven't really done anything like this before, but we can actually go in and like, uh, for instance, we can take the cylinder and we can make it gold if we wanted to. <laughs> Oh, about that old hammer too. Ooh, gold sights. Not sure about that. A gold trigger. That, that seems like just the right amount of fancy for me. What about engravings? Any, any crazy engravings? Ooh, that's cool looking. Alrighty, we are looking good. Got new. Uh, got a new handgun. Got a new. Uh, 
Uh, what, what did we get? I guess we got more ammo for our shotgun. More shotgun shells. Let's go meet Micah. And then uh, I think that might be all the time we have today. Fire going on over here. Every time you see a fire, you kind of have to like go over there and see what it's all about. <laughs> new revolver for the win bro well, look at that now we got two showfield revolvers oh the, my hat fell off Ooh, i forgot my hat i forgot we weren't even wearing it they shoot our hat off that bow was a crazy yeah. i don't even know i don't even know what i would have done when i realized that i didn't have my hat anymore to see you why you want rescuing again there <laughs> no i got a plan to make it up to you a oh, plan like the blackwater ferry job or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail the dutch said you was a a big shadow cast by a tiny tree i don't even know what that means mm, i thought you was a tough boy <laughs> not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes i just know whenever things get real you turn yellow lose your head yellow sure seems that way so i guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry i heard one of the o'driscoll boys yapping about it while i was inside you and me do a robbery that's what i said didn't i after you <laughs> Looks like we got a bunch of lipstick on. on our vest. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. Come on, John. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, of course. tough guy. They should be here any minute. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna wait here all day. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on. <laughs> right. No, that's right. We gotta put on our. Uh... Okay, we got it. What happened? You attacked Micah's horse. What? Oh my god, drive. Where are you going? <laughs> Go! Ride, John. Bro, what? what are you doing? You're broken, John. Ride straight. Where are we supposed to keep the driver alive or something? Yeah. We need to take out the driver. You think I don't see this? Looks like they ain't gonna play nice. Good. Come on. Let's go. 
Let's get this out of here. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Hey, Lock! Come on, boy! What? We just got a new repeater by George. Oh, there's some bad guys. Oh, this is the O'Driscolls, eh? What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! You okay? new repeater. Stuck on this wagon here. Golly, man, that was a shootout. You always know when you have a, a, a mission with Micah, you're gonna end up shooting a bunch of people. <laughs> That's what Arthur just said, too. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now. Get out of here. Who's like a skinny does? Hulk Hogan. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Total take $1,230. We get $330. Yeah, you need some good brushing there, John. Well, I tell you what, everyone. This has been quite an episode. What all did we do today? We stole an oil wagon. We uh, took a kid fishing. Learned how to go fishing, so we can do it in later episodes. Took John Bon Pony here for a good long ride. Gave him a brushing. Hang out with, uh, we hung out with Micah. We killed a ton of people, O'Driscolls and, and bank people, all the like, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the game. We've got so much stuff to do, and honestly, not a lot of time. Oh god, now we're on the run, too. Oh no. Is that a lawman? Better not be a lawman. Well, I'm looking forward to the future. If you enjoy this video, as always, hit the like button and subscribe for future videos coming out here on the BZ Hub. As always, comment down below any ideas you have or uh, anything that went on during the, the episode. I always enjoy seeing and I like commenting back on your stuff as well. But until the next episode, everyone, take care. And as always, remember, we're one planet. One family, game on.